Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a twist and pop card using the template from Craft World. Now this template creates quite a small card, but you can then use the basis and the mechanism to go ahead and create your own larger pieces if you want to transfer this to a larger card. So I have cut out the three sections on this template and it's just printed off at home on copy paper. Um, refer to the video that will be linked in this post because that will explain to you how to use the templates to then cut out your cardboard pieces. So I've adhered these onto my chosen cardstock. I've added in all of the score lines. So I've got the card base here. I've then got the mechanism and then I've got the piece that's going to twist and pop out. So let's take these template pieces away and let's come back to these three sections. So as I said, this is my card base. So this is, if I just measure that, it's about three and a half by three and a half inches at the moment. But once you've mastered this technique and you've done it once or twice with the smaller template, you can then go on and you can easily create your own on larger scale. So here's your card base. It starts as a rectangle, one score line down, we're just going to fold that in half. And now we need to put the mechanism inside the card and that's really easy to do as well. Now on the mechanism you'll notice there's three score lines. There's one that goes horizontally across the length of the bar and then we've got a cross through the centre as well. So once you've uh, folded these or scored these and then folded them, what I like to do with all my templates when I'm not sure which way they need to fold is to just fold them both forwards and backwards in all directions and that way it's easier for me to play with it and work out how each fold needs to go before securing it with a bone folder. So with this one, what you need to do is you need to keep the, uh, the center point, the cross there down, and you need to bring up the two ends and push back the corners there. And what will happen is eventually you'll see this will create this shape for you. Okay, so like an arrow shape. Then once you have that shape, you can push this down and just, as I say, reinforce those score lines. This is your mechanism, okay? So just squeezing that, we're going to keep that together. We're going to put this inside of our card base. So opening up the card base there, we're going to pop the corner here up against the score line, just one side of it. I'm going to use a wet glue here. You can use a tape, but I find a wet glue much more secure. So placing that in the middle there of the card and putting a little wet glue just over that triangle. Now I've used a cardstock that's got color on just one side and that way you can more easily see which is would be the reverse or the inside and vice versa. So just applying a little bit of glue there and then I'm just going to open this up, lay that down and do exactly the same on the other side. Apply a little bit of glue, making sure you're not getting any glue anywhere else on the mechanism, fold the card over and stick it there and just give that a second to set. And then when you open your card up, what should happen is that bar should open up and when you close, it should fold back in on itself. So it's all nice and clean when it's inside and you can start to see the, the pop section. Now we need to work on the twist. So we need to get this which is going to be your panel for all your decoration, we need to find a way of allowing this to not only fold up as it closes, but also twist so it does this sort of action as it goes in and out. So laying everything here flat, okay, just make sure that your glue's dried and it's all working well. So I'm just going to ensure that's okay. So I don't want to lay it too flat because I don't want that to, the glue to be lifted off. So I'm just going to lift it up to there for now while it's still drying. And then I'm going to adhere this. There's two places I'm going to adhere it. And that's going to be on this corner and on this corner. Okay, so I'm going to apply, you can either use glue. I think I'm going to use my tape here. So just a little bit on this corner here, making sure that you're not going over this score line. So if I just remove my tape 
and ensure I only have the tape there on this corner. And then I'm going to do the same on the opposite corner down here as well. So just a small piece of tape. Now it's a good idea with any new mechanism, even when you've got the video to hand, to just have a go at doing this with a plain cardstock, just so that you understand how the mechanism works, exactly where the glue goes and things like that. And then once you've mastered it, you can go ahead and do it with your, um, your nicer, more patterned papers, for example, in your stronger cardstock. So what I'm going to do now is this section here has four panels. We've got the score lines and we want to concertina fold them so that the center of the front of this panel or this bar is coming up towards you. So we'd call that a mountain fold and the other two will be valleys. So we've got that zigzag effect. OK, now what's going to happen is the bottom corner is going to go onto the bottom corner here of your bar. It's almost like a T bar that goes across and then the top corner onto the top corner here. So just securing those. So you'll notice that this doesn't lay flat, okay? It still remains with some shape there. But as you push in these two corners and allow that mechanism to twist itself, if I just lift that up for you, you can see what's happening. The two corners are glued, so they're staying, and can you see the cardstock's lifted away from the opposite two corners where we haven't applied glue and that's fine but this will twist into the mechanism and then you can press the cardstock shut and that's flat and then when you open it up there's your twist and what you may need to do is just do that a few times press down make sure all your score lines are nice and secure and in the correct places Okay, so I'm happy with that mechanism. So now I need to work on the decoration. And what I like to do with my decoration very often is work from the same paper pack or embellishment sheet, just so everything coordinates. And I've taken one from Paper Boutique here. So I'm going to work with this one. It's absolutely stunning. For the centerpiece here, I'm actually going to just simply fold this panel in half. This is a topper and the width there fits really well. Rather than trying to cut it and fit it, I'm just going to fold this in half carefully here. You can use a scoreboard if you like, but I'm just going to trust using my fingers and I'm going to adhere that over the center two panels. And like I say, you've got four panels there. You can decorate them all differently if you wish to. But I quite like having this one in the middle that pops out with the sentiment. And then I'll adhere some florals to the corners here. You do want to keep your embellishments quite flat though. If you have anything bulky, your card won't be able to twist into the mechanism. So with each embellishment you add, just make sure that that all lays down nice and flat. There we go. Now, on the inside here, I've got some patterned papers and I just need to trim these down to size to fit the top and the bottom. Alternatively, once you're happy with how your mechanism works, you can be decorating the card base and everything else before you put it together. But I didn't do that, so I need to take a pencil and just trim these down to size and adhere them on the inside there. Now on the two edges here, I'm going to put some paper flowers and these are just some florals that I've hand cut from the same paper so that everything coordinates. So I'm going to take a blue and a pink onto each side plus a little bit of foliage. I'm not using any sort of foam pads or dimensional glue for this because I do want this to all lay flat as I discussed earlier just avoiding any crease lines to make sure that you're not overlapping creases, but you can overlap the card a little bit. But again, once you adhere things, just make sure that when you close the card, nothing's peeking out from any of the edges. So lastly, I'm just going to take a lovely little topper 
to pop on the front here that matches everything in the way of decoration on the inside. And if you wanted to, you could put a ribbon around this now, adhere a ribbon, so that you can close that because naturally the mechanism is going to want to pop open as you can see. So you may want to pop a ribbon round and just tie it here so that you can secure it closed. So now we have our really cute card with our message on the front and when you open it up, your other message on the inside, your sentiment on the inside plus your embellishments all pop up they twist and pop up to say happy birthday.